Is it your first time selling your home? We're going to go over everything you need to know as a first time seller. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I'm a mortgage broker located in Vancouver and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here, you want to learn ways to be approved for a mortgage, home buying tips and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. I'm here today with Jimmy Lee, Realtor with Royal LePage and we're going to talk about first time sellers. That's right. We have all read articles, blogs, and watched videos about first-time buyers. But does anyone talk about first-time sellers? If you're a first-time seller, this video is for you. First, congratulations on being a homeowner. Stats show that approximately 68% of households in Canada own their home. Home ownership is a huge achievement, especially living in a city like Greater Vancouver. So again, congrats. So Jimmy, what are the must-dos if someone is looking to sell their home? Right. Um, I think the first thing is to meet your realtor early. If you don't have one, I recommend you interview a few. Let's say three realtors. Ask friends for, and family for one or two referrals and find one that you've researched on your own. Realtors should be able to give you a market evaluation of your current home and provide an update on current market conditions of your area. Keep in mind that market conditions change very fast. We're in March of 2021 in Greater Vancouver and the market we are experiencing now is much different than what was just three months ago. Also, discussing th things like listing term, which is the duration, commission structure, marketing plan and strategies are topics that should be discussed. This is also a good time to discuss your why. Why do you want to sell? And where are you planning to go next? Okay, let's move to number two. I'm going to let John take this one because we're going to talk about mortgages. Thanks. So speak to a mortgage broker to organize your finances quick. Right now, interest rates are low, like record lows. And to get a hold of a mortgage professional may be challenging because everyone is busy. So go to your previous mortgage provider and also consult with one additional mortgage broker. It's always good to get a second opinion and talking to a mortgage professional will allow you to understand in detail how much you can afford on your next home, especially if your financial situation changed the last time you applied for a mortgage. Now what will happen is we can run different scenarios what will it look like if you purchase before you sell your existing home? And you know, what if you're upsizing and there's a basement rental suite available? Also, if you are selling, there might be a penalty on your mortgage as well. So we also need to incorporate that. Mm -hmm. So this will give you a better idea of the general direction you should move forward with. Mm -hmm. So Jimmy, I mean, we interview a couple of realtors and we got our finances in order. What's the next must do step? Okay, so it's time to make some decisions now. Choose the professionals you want to work with and execute together. Each realtor will suggest their own marketing plan and strategies tailored to your home and your needs. It's important to listen to each one of them and choose the one that fits you. Don't just choose the one that sounds nice, but try to choose the one that fits your values, your timeline, and your goals, and your why. One thing to remember is, this is your home, and you are the seller. You need to be just as involved and execute actions with the guidance and the help of your professionals. This is probably the most important step and will look different for each seller. For example, in a market we are experiencing now in Greater Vancouver, depending on what you are trying to sell and what you are trying to buy, you may need to list and sell first before you buy. Whereas for some, you may need to buy first and then sell. Or for some, depending on your situation, you may be able to hold two properties at the same time. There are multiple other scenarios, but this is why you need to discuss with professionals and come up with a plan and strategy that fits you. Awesome. 
Looks like everything is lining up well and our home is hitting the market this week. Mm. Is it normal to be just a little bit anxious? <laughs> yeah, of course. You know what? And some anxiousness or anxiety is a good thing. But here's a tip for the first time sellers as your home hits the market, trust the process and your professionals. Communication is key. A lot of times when you list for the first time, many people around you who've already experienced selling suddenly become professionals and tell you what to do. Well, we all know that they're doing that because they care for you, but you should take it with a grain of salt. Keep a clear and open communication with your realtor and your professionals who are involved. Do not assume things. If you have a question or a concern, make sure you to call, text, email, whichever communication platform works best and communicate. Like I mentioned earlier, markets move fast and changes very, very fast. So what your friends, colleagues, and family members experienced three to six months ago, or in fact, just even two weeks ago, could be drastically different now. Not to mention that the type of home and the area will make a lot of things different too. So leaning on the advice of your professionals is key. Most listing realtors will provide a brief update or a summary of activity on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. And generally, most realtors will do a full re-evaluation of everything after three to four weeks into the listing. Honestly, during a strong seller's market like we're experiencing now in Greater Vancouver, if you haven't seen results within the first two weeks, it's time for a reevaluation and change in strategy. And I'm being generous with that timeline. Regardless, if you have something you need to discuss or a question or a concern, don't hesitate to mention it. Your professionals should be approachable and reachable. Another good tip about communication is some people are early birds and some people are night owls. It's important from the beginning what time is good to communicate for the, both yourself as a client and the realtor and your professionals. Unless it's an urgent matter, most communications should be done within the agreed time frame. And there you go. We just explained everything you need to know as a first time seller. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more. And make sure you click on the notification bell so it won't miss a video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Rise Mortgage. We are always achieving your approval.